Look outside right now from Weatherford at this hour. We understand sleet coming down there. Roads are getting very slick. Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget, Aaron Moran, both teaming up tonight, tracking the system for you. Scott, let's start with you and the new information just coming in at this hour. And temperatures continue to have very close to the freezing mark. We were looking at this in the first alert weather center, and this is the radar that we showed you. And you can see that the colder air is slowly sliding its way down to the southeast. So, still a cold rain in our southeast counties. You're able to see the that most of the Metroplex dealing with that cold rain starting to switch on over to freezing rain and even some sleet starting to mix in. As we zoom our way down to the Metroplex where you start to see that darker pink color, that's where we have the potential of maybe some sleet mixing in. If it's a darker purple color, that same story. So that's what we are monitoring and continuing to watch through the remainder of the night tonight. And we've been watching it through the evening hours. I've been watching the road temperatures as well. You can see that they are cooling their way on down right there at zero degrees. That's that lighter blue color, noticing it's starting to get closer towards the Metroplex, and that means the conditions will continue to go down as far as driving is concerned. Newest update, 32 degrees still at DFW with that north wind holding on for us. Remainder of some of the reporting stations across parts of the Metroplex, all of us hovering maybe above freezing by a degree or below. And that's not uncommon when we're dealing with that freezing rain to sleet situation. So here's the latest look at the numbers. Still at 31 in Fort Worth, 32 at DFW, 31 in Addison, now at 32 for Love Field, 33 in McKinney. Widening out the view, really cold air, 28 degrees to 27 degrees, Bridgeport to Mineral Well. When I look at that number, when we have the upper 20s, that's when we really start to see the accumulation on the roadways for us. So the future cast shows overnight tonight, most of North Texas dealing with some sleet, sleet to freezing rain for us across North Texas. What's interesting, the newest data coming in through the day tomorrow, notice the snow starting to approach parts of the Metroplex by 6 to near about 7 in the morning. But we're looking at the latest data. It's clearing us out a little bit faster for tomorrow afternoon. That doesn't mean that the cold air is not going to be here and remain in place. We have another first alert weather day for Friday. More on that coming up. But, Aaron, we've seen some accumulation on the roadways and some problems are already happening. Well, and it's those areas where the temperatures have been sitting in the 20s the last couple of hours where we're really starting to notice those issues, the roads deteriorating, and hopefully uh, no one needing to travel anymore. So, at 918, sporadic power outages reported across Fannin County. 920, numerous down trees into power. Power lines for Farmersville, that's in Collin County, and then major power lines down south of Bonham reported at 932. A lot of this having to do with icing on the tree limbs, the tree limbs falling on the power lines. So we're continuing to kind of keep an eye on this, but we're expecting really these conditions to get worse, even in the Metroplex. So time to get off the roads. The time is now for anyone highlighted in blue, and this includes Bowie to Alverd, uh, Bridgeport, Mineral Wells, but we're starting to see this line. And kind of creep into Denton County, Tarrant counties as well. So hopefully everyone's off the roads at this point. We're going to see these t conditions get worse, especially to the east of I-35 in that 3 to 6 a.m. time frame when we watch those temperatures drop into the 20s. Here's 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've got teens and low 20s. It's barely going to get above this into the afternoon. And of course, those wind chills are going to be in the single digits, Doug. All right.